Hi, so here we have one more problem based on height and distance and this problem is slightly complicated. So let's first read the problem statement. The problem statement says a man observes at a point due south on a certain tower. Its elevation is 60 degrees. Then he walks 100 meters due west on a horizontal plane and finds that the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Find the height of the tower and its original distance from it. So we are talking about the directions east, west, north and south and we are also talking about the elevation, right? So this drawing has to be a 3D drawing. But since we have only 2D canvas, our drawing will be slightly slanting. So let's have directions like this. So suppose these are the directions. That means all these angles are 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees, right? And this is also 90 degrees. And now let's draw the tower. Let this be the tower. And now let's assume that the person is standing over here and looking at this tower. So if the person is standing over here and looking at this tower, he will be looking at the top of the tower along with this line. And the angle over here is actually equal to 60 degrees. So here we have got a triangle. Let me call this point as point A where the person is standing and the base of the tower as B and the top of the tower as C. And here also this angle will be 90 degrees. So we have actually got a right angle triangle over here which will look something like this where this will be point A and this will be point B and this will be point C and this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees right because tower is perpendicular and this line BC represents the tower. We have got one triangle over here. Next, the person walks 100 meters due west on a horizontal plane. So person was originally over here and then he walks 100 meters towards its west. That means he walks till here. Then he finds that the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. That means if I join this point to this point at the top of the tower, and I have to do one more construction and that construction will be joining this line to the center or to the base of the tower along with the plane. Then this angle is equal to 30 degrees. Let us call this new point as point D. Then again we have got a right angle triangle and this triangle will be something like this where this is the tower again point C and this is the point B and this is the point D and this angle is equal to 30 degrees and this angle will be 90 degrees and we will get one more triangle in the base this triangle will also be a right angle triangle which will be something like this. This will be point A, the place at where the person was originally standing. This will be point D, where he reached after walking these 100 meters. And this is the distance which is equal to 100 meters, which the person is walking when he is walking towards the west. And this is the point B which actually represents the base of the tower and this triangle is actually formed on the plane. This is the triangle. Triangle ADB is the triangle which we are talking about. Right? So what we have to find? We have to find the height of the tower and we have to find the original distance from it. That means we have to find this distance AB and we have to find the height of the tower which is CB or BC. This we have to find. So before we start solving, let, let me rearrange all these drawings so that we have some space to solve. So we have to find the value of AB and CB. This is AB and this is also AB and CB is actually the height of the tower, right? So let's start from this triangle. 
the triangle which is in the middle. Here this angle is 60 degrees and this is a right angle. So tan 60 which is actually the height by base will be equal to h by ba and the value of tan 60 is root 3 that means ba is actually equal to h by root 3 that means this distance ba is h by root 3 and in this drawing also we have ab or ba which is also equal to h by root 3 so we have got the value of ab and now let me erase this and now if we see at this triangle in this triangle this is also a right angle triangle with angle d is equal to 30 degrees and angle b is a right angle so tan 30 will be equal to h by bd which is equal to 1 by root 3 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 so from here we get bd is equal to root 3 times h so bd which is this distance is actually equal to root 3 times h so we have got bd is equal to root 3 times h root 3 times height and this bd is over here in the first triangle also right so the value of this is actually equal to root 3 times height so if we see this triangle ABD properly, here we have found the values of AB and DB in terms of H and the value of AD is actually 100 meters. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, I think we should be able to find the value of H. So let's do that. According to Pythagorean theorem, DB square will be equal to AD square plus AB square. So db square will be root 3 times h whole square that is 3h square will be equal to ad square. The value of ad is 100 meters so it will be 100 square let me keep it as it is plus ab square that will be h square by 3 and now let's rearrange them so we'll get 3h square minus h square by 3 is equal to 100 square or if we take LCM over here 3 will be the LCM this will be 9 H square minus H square is equal to 100 square or you can write 8 H square is equal to 3 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 I am expanding this or H square is equal to 3 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 8 4 to the 8 4 25s are 100 2 1s are 2 2 5s are 10 and 0 and this will be equal to 3 multiplied by 25 multiplied by this 50 can be written as 2 multiplied by 25 that is 6 times 25 square h square is equal to 6 times 25 square so from here we will get the value of h as 25 root 6 so this is the value of height of the tower which is actually represented as cb in all the triangles is equal to 25 root 6 so this is the value of height and the original distance from the tower is actually equal to AB. AB is equal to H by root 3, right? The value of H is 25 root 6 divided by root 3 is equal to 25 root 2. So the original distance from the tower is actually equal to 25 root 2. So these are the two values which we were supposed to find. This was a slightly tricky problem but if you are able to visualize all the right angle triangles which are formed over here, the problem becomes actually very simple. So after this we have few more problems based on height and distance. So keep watching MathMath and bye bye till then.